By 1950, Norman Rockwell had become famous for capturing the simple pleasures of small-town America, but he'd always used people for his subjects. Now, for the April 29th issue of The Post, he did something different. He made his subject a dark, empty barbershop. Oh, there are people there, of course. The bright light streaming out of the back room draws your eye to the amateur musicians practicing there. But the painting is devoted to capturing the old-fashioned character of the barbershop run by Rob Shuffleton. That's him on the cello. Post readers had previously seen his face in a cover painted by George Hughes. Like many barbershops, Shuffleton's symbolizes the small-town life many Americans had left behind when they moved to the city. They were sort of community center, memorable for their mounted fish and sports trophy decors. Hometown landmarks, where generations of men had gone for news, sports talk, and haircuts. In Rockwell's cover, time has barely passed since Shuffleton's opened 43 years earlier. He shows the same old solitary barber chair, now with a sagging back. The old coal stove and bucket, the old whisk broom, now worn down from years of use, the old Remember Pearl Harbor poster still hanging on the wall five years after the war ended. And everything bears the mark of long use and little replacement, like the cracked window. The cover was so faithful to the original that Shuffleton's son, living out in California, wrote the post to say he'd seen the cover and that there wasn't a thing in his father's shop that Rockwell had missed.